friends, I wanted to share with you guys a um, quick and easy dessert, a Filipino dessert actually, and it is called uh, champorado. Now, champorado is a bit different than the Mexican uh, champorado. With us, uh, champorado refers to the um, sweet rice, so it comes in a package like this. Uh, sweet rice can also be called sticky rice, so it's a lot, um, like it says, sweet rice, it's a lot more stickier than the regular fine grain rice, and it also has a sweetness and flavor to it. So I added about uh, four cups for this particular recipe, but four cups is actually a lot. The reason that I use four cups is I'm dividing it into two different flavors of champorado. So I had uh, four cups onto a pan and then I rinsed it really, really well, maybe about four times. Um, just water, rinse it, dump the water, put add water again, and then um, go through it with your hands to make sure that you get the dirt out um, and such. Here's my pan and it's on very low heat because it does um, burn onto the bottom of the pan real easily. And I added, um, with this four cups, I added one can of coconut milk. You can also add um, cream, coconut cream if you wanted, but I always just add coconut milk. And then I also add about just a cup of water. I mixed it together and then added about a teaspoon of um, salt onto it. So I'm going to gradually put this on low heat and gradually mix it um, every few minutes because otherwise it will stick to the bottom of the pan and once it dries out I can either add more of the coconut milk or I can just add a little bit of water to it but see how it's already starting to thicken and I've had this in here for only about maybe five minutes so just constantly stir it all right it has doubled in size and and then if you feel like it's actually getting a bit dry, then you can either add some more water or more coconut milk or just a regular um, regular milk that's in your refrigerator. Because we are not really um, flavoring it just yet. We're just cooking the, the grain, the rice grain. And you can tell that it's cooked when, um, when you bite into it and it's really um, soft, um, soft and tender. So this is how you cook um, sticky rice. It's basically just um, just like cooking regular rice, but um, you're adding some uh, sweetener to it with the with the coconut milk or with the regular regular milk. And once you have it cooked like this, it's very versatile. You can make so many dishes with just this part of it. Um, if you guys like Thai food and there's um, sticky rice over mango over sticky rice, this is exactly how they make the sticky rice. You can um, you can just have it as is, just like this, and then slice up some very ripe mangoes, and then add some coconut milk on the top, and then you have yourself a, a very delicious Thai dessert. In Filipino dessert, we have uh, champurado, which is basically sweet rice chocolate pudding, and that's what I'm going to show you guys today. But I'm going to cut this recipe in half, so I'm going to use part of it for the traditional um, sweet rice chocolate pudding champurado, but then on the other half, I'm going to show you guys how I make my ube champurado. Almost cooked. I'm going to go ahead and add about a third cup of sugar. Now I'm just eyeballing everything because it is not an exact... Um, uh, ingredient recipe you don't need to be exact with anything you just got to be exact with making sure of cooking um, the sweet rice and making sure that it is soft otherwise um, any kind of rice when you don't cook it thoroughly it it's crunchy it's 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 hard in your in your teeth in your mouth so you just got to make sure to cook it um, until it's really soft but if it's dry add more water add more liquid of whatever you're choosing is the milk the coconut milk We'll already add a bit of a sweetener to it, and then later on when you finish it off, you're, you'll also be adding uh, more sweetening to it, so you don't really need a whole lot of sugar when you're cooking the rice. So this is almost ready for me to separate. Now I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make it in two different types of uh, champurado that I make for the family. So the first one is the traditional chocolate champurado that calls for cocoa powder and I also like to add bittersweet chocolate to mine. So for this amount um, I added about 
two cups of the sweetened rice. I will add half a cup of bittersweet chocolate and then half a cup of the cocoa powder onto one batch. And then on the other batch, I'm going to make um, ube champurado. And that's not a very traditional or common champurado. It's something that um, I've come up with. Um, I'm not even sure if there, there is a recipe because um, there's a recipe here of the ube recipe that I have. Now with that ube recipe, I have mentioned that I do freeze it and then you can add it on on top of ice creams, on top of desserts, within bread itself. So there's a lot of ube, um, OB recipe, ube recipes that we have in the Philippines. It's mixed in with the bread recipes. You can have a, a regular typical bread, add on your ube halayat onto that and then there goes our ube um, bread. You can put um, ube with macarons, which I do. You can add ube um, halaya onto almost anything. So now I figured I might add it, um, might as well add it onto champurado. I've done this a couple times. I like it because I love the taste of ube. The family likes it as well. So with this, um, with, with adding the ube, there's no really a good um, perfect amount you just add it on to 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 taste as much as um, along with the the cocoa and, and the bittersweet you don't have to add bittersweet I like to add it because I think it adds a lot of the chocolate taste to it some uh, champurado recipes just calls for cocoa powder so I'm gonna go ahead and add that and then I'm gonna show you guys how I mix it so here's the traditional chocolate champurado I'm gonna go ahead and also add about a quarter it's already bubbling. A quarter of evaporated milk onto that. And then I'm going to mix it. It's on very low heat so that I don't burn the chocolate. Mix that really well. I have gone ahead and turned off the stove. I have an electric stove so there's still heat um, being applied to the, the pot. So I'm going to go ahead and keep stirring. And already I can smell. This is a very um, sweet dessert. Uh, we usually have this for breakfast, but we also have it for merienda. Merienda is our typical afternoon um, snack, just like the, um, the Spaniards. So just mix this for a little bit, and then I'm going to put this aside and then work on my ube champurado. All right, so I've gone ahead and uh, mixed it in here. So it's at the bottom. And all I'm doing is just incorporating the ube halaya along with the sweetened rice. Again, this is on very, very low heat. The ube halaya is already cooked. And then the sweetened rice is basically almost totally cooked. It's just got another like maybe five minutes to it. And it's just basically incorporating it all together. I'm also going to add some evaporated milk in here. And that is about a quarter of a cup. All right, friends, it's basically all done. And I also wanted to share that I also added um, just a little drop of the violet um, color in there because ube is supposed to be a deep violet in color. So I like to have um, that color consistency with my ube dishes. But it is basically done. I have the ube champurado. And then I also have... The traditional chocolate porridge um, champurado and champurado is exactly what that means is it's rice porridge all right friends there we go we have the traditional um, champurado of uh, chocolate um, rice porridge and then I have my version of ube um, champurado which is just the ube rice porridge and when you serve it you want to serve it hot or cold but I prefer it um, hot now if it's in the refrigerator all you have to do is just add some I like to add half and half and if it's cold go ahead and microwave it for a good maybe 30 seconds or a minute um, together like that it'll come out really nice and warm and all you gotta do is mix it in or if you just take it out of the stove you could also just add your half and half and a lot of people also add um, evaporated milk or condensed milk to it or sprinkle some uh, sugar and this is why we don't flavor it too much with the sweetness um, while cooking the champurado is because afterwards when you're ready to serve it 
that's when you flavor it with more of either the half and half, the condensed milk, or the evaporated milk, or a little bit of extra sugar. It's a great breakfast, uh, traditional Filipino breakfast, or a merienda, which is an afternoon um, snack. I hope you guys enjoyed this Filipino recipe. As always, thank you guys for watching A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo! I like to really mix it in there. Absorb all that ube with the half and half. Mmm, delicious.